In this video, we're going to learn how to use jQuery to reorder elements in a list or grid. We're going to use the same source code as in the previous file. So we already have our uh, list of elements. Um, so what we'd like to do, we want to be able to reorder these uh, list items as we like. So we're going to write a, a simple uh, statement. So we're going to access the list using its ID. The list ID is list. And then we're going to use a method. It's called sortable. Okay, at the moment we're not using any, any uh, options inside the method. But let's uh, let's see how it works. So we can see that it's working. We can uh, rearrange the items as we like. Okay. All right. There are a few options for the sortable method that we can use. First, let's say we would like to see a placeholder. So when we are rearranging uh, the elements, so we, if I drag the Mercedes elements, we know that it's going to be going at the top. But we would like to, to see a placeholder for the uh, item before it gets uh, dropped. So the option to use there, so first let's have some curly brackets. So we need an option called placeholder. So remember that's all the options that they go inside the curly brackets. So option, uh, colon, and then we need to specify the style of the placeholder. Okay, let's go for a UI state highlights, for example. So let's refresh the page. So now we can see that we, we can see a placeholder there. And we can also see that the style is exactly what we uh, chose. Uh, we can change that to UI state error, for instance. And we can see that the style has just changed. Okay, let's keep it highlights for now. Okay, now there are some occasions where we would need one specific uh, item to be not sortable. So for instance, you might want the last item to be not sortable, which means that we can reorder everything else except for this uh, element. So there is another option for that. It's called Council. Usually we specify a class for, for this. If you use an ID for one uh, specific item, it will work as well. But usually we, uh, we uh, use a class for this. So let's say we want to add a class to the uh, Mercedes um, item. So let's give it a class and name it, for example, not sortable. And all we need to do is copy this class and put it there. Okay. So now if we try all the other elements, they are sortable, but we cannot drag the Mercedes item. All right. Fine. Now we're going to create another list inside the uh, Microsoft div. So let's just copy paste the first list. Okay, and let's place it right after the link. All right, let's change the ID. So first one, let's give it list one and second one, let's call it list, list two. And we changed the ID here as well. Okay, so now we want to make this list um, sortable as well. Before we do that, let's um, change the styling a little bit for the green box. Let's add some padding. And pixels okay it looks better and now let's um, make the second list uh, sortable so we need to access the list using its ID again and we use the method sortable and let's make sure it is working fine okay now we want both lists to exchange items okay let's just change the the values or text inside the list items let's put uh, some other car makes um, okay let's go for Ferrari for example that looks better okay we're gonna be using the same method uh, sortable okay but we need to select 
both both lists so we need to select both lists so first list using its id this one then comma list two okay and then we're going to use this sortable uh, method and this time we'll use another option inside the sortable method it's called connect with and basically basically we need one class to be shared between both lists okay and the value of the option connect with is going to be that specific class so first let's give both lists the same uh, class name so we need to add a class for each list so let's uh, let's call this class um, connected list for example and we need the same class for the second list and then we'll refer to this class in the option connects with all right okay okay so we can move items both from the first list to the second list and the opposite way as well all right now if we move all the items from the second list to the first list and we're going to move them back we can't do that okay and the reason why is because once the uh, list is emptied from all the items uh, it doesn't take any space anymore inside uh, in the in the document so all we need to do is make sure that there is a minimum height for both lists and for this we can just style the uh, new class we defined connected list okay and let's set the um, border style okay so let's go for one pixel for the width and let's have solid border and let's um, go for a color okay let's go for a white color like that okay so you can see here that our second list it has collapsed that's why we can't move any item from the uh, first list to the second list but now if we change the height or the min height if we change the min height to 20 pixels for example so you can see that now we can still see the empty list but let's try well let's try to move you can see that now we can move elements from the first list to the second list it's working just fine okay all right um in the next video we're gonna start looking at the uh, jquery ui uh, widgets so uh, we're gonna start with uh, accordion